Having dealt with the items that are common to every page and put them on a master page, we can now turn our attention to navigating throughout the document. And this is commonly achieved through the use of hotspots. And that's what we're going to look at in this lesson. And to get yourself started, open the prototype 02.png document located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you'll see that it's the document we used in the previous exercise. And what we're going to do now is add that navigation and interactivity. Now, we're not going to make these interactive on the home page. We're actually going to make them interactive on the master page. Why do it a whole bunch of times? So you select the master page and you come to the hotspot tool, which is this little tool here in the toolbar. It looks like a box with a chain on it. And it's the rectangular hotspot tool. Now, there are three types of hotspots, rectangle, circle, and polygon. The rectangle is a self-explanatory circle you can put around circular areas. And the Polygon Hotspot tool is used for irregularly shaped objects that you may want to make interactive. My advice to you about the Polygon is to be careful with it. It kicks out a lot of HTML code and is to be used quite sparingly. Okay, so we're going to select the Rectangle Hotspot tool and we're going to put a hotspot over Home. We're going to have, every time someone clicks the Home button, they're going to come back here, come back to the Home page. And when you select it, you'll notice that it's this little blue box. And if you come down to the Properties panel, you can see that you can change the shape on the fly and you can even change its color. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to link to the home page right here, this page here. And you do that right here. And you can choose home.htm. And every time a user clicks that, it will come back to the home page. Now, the other thing that you can put in here are URLs, you know, like httpvideotobrain.com. Or you can even put in uh, alt text with it, the Video to Brain homepage, which will appear in browsers. Now that we've done that, let's get the rest of them done. So we'll just do the tour. And we'll link that to the tour page. And we're going to do food. And we're going to link that to the food page. And we're going to do travel. And we'll link that to the travel page. Now, one of the other reasons why we're using a rectangular hotspot here is that it gives the user quite a bit of area in which to click. This area is sort of defined as the hit area. If you're a flash user, you're quite familiar with hit areas. This is where the cursor must be to click. So if the person puts the cursor there, it's still going to be interactive or the, the cursor will change. The other reason for a rectangular hotspot is that one of the options for reviewing these things is actually a PDF document, and PDFs use square or rectangular buttons more than round or even the polygon. Okay, so we've dealt with that, and if we come to the home page, you'll see that there are the hotspots. And let's go to the food page, because there's a little change in here. If you uh, go to the layers panel for the food page, you'll see that I've already got a hotspot in play right there. Hotspots can go on any page and anywhere on any page. Now, these are on the master page, so they're available to every page in which they appear. This will only be available to this page. And if you notice, it links to restaurants.htm. So let's go to restaurants.htm. We'll just go right there. And you'll notice there's a little back button there, and we really should add a hotspot to go back. So we'll just put a hotspot over that button there. And we'll link it to food. Now, why would you want to put a hotspot over a back button when you've already got the food button here? Well, the user does not really have any sort of clue that they can go back a page. By making it a little self-evident, it becomes quite a bit easier for the user to navigate through your project. Okay, let's go to the home page. And if we click on preview, you'll see that these things are actually in play. If you roll over, see, there's the cursor change. So we know that it goes to those pages. And if we go to the food page, there's the cursor change. And if we go to the restaurants page, there's the change. So in this exercise, what I've done is I've shown you how to add navigation elements or navigation using hotspots. The hotspot is this little tool right here. And if you don't want to see the hotspots, you can turn them off right here, or you can even turn off their visibility on the page. Interesting thing about turning off visibility, it's still there.